At the moment, I'm in a small mission that I created to showcase how to use an INS system for combat purposes. Uh, we learned how to switch the waypoints in the previous videos and how to align the systems. But to do this, we're going to need to know how to edit the waypoint and how to create a new waypoint so we can drop a laser-guided bombs with the help of a JTAC onto an abandoned airfield, which I conveniently put some of the armored units there. To do so, we're going to have to create a new waypoint to the location of wh where the units are. To do so, we're going to have to take a look at our INS system. At the moment, I have three waypoints set up, as you can see on the kneeboard. The first waypoint is at Kutasi, the second waypoint is in the middle of the sea, and the third waypoint is a landing waypoint to Batumi. So I'm going to have to add a fourth waypoint to add my target uh, to my to add my target coordinates. To do so, we're going to have to change the INS parameter selector to latitude and longitude, and we're going to create a new waypoint by pressing the INS prep switch and pressing 04. With this, we created a new waypoint with initialized values to zero. Now we have to find what our coordinates really are. These can be given to us, or we can press F10 view and go to wh where we want to add the waypoint. So let's say we want to add the waypoints to these targets. And uh, you can read that uh, you can read latitude and longitude at the top left corner. So we can write down the north is 4150.516 and east is 41478386. Okay. So we get go back to the INS and now we have to edit the left side and the right side of the screen. To edit the left side, press 1 on the INS button numpad. To edit the right side, press number 3 on the INS button, uh, INS keypad. Let's edit the left side first. So the left screen has become a dashed lines. We can input north or south here. So first we have to determine do we have to do we want to input north or the south. Since we have the coordinates for the north, we're gonna input uh, the north by pressing number two here. It represents north. And now we can input the coordinates. And our coordinates were four one five zero five one six. You can round up the numbers if you want more precision. Then you're going to press INS enter button, which will save the data. Now we will pl press number 3 on INS keypad, which will make us edit the right side of the screen. We will input east, so that's 6, because it represents east. And now we're going to input the coordinates, 0, 4, 1, 4, 7, 8, 6, 6. And now the coordinates are saved and the waypoint is created. The altitude of the waypoint is zero, so we can drop the bombs there. We switch to the uh, waypoint number four by pressing uh, INS DS DEST switch and pressing zero four. We have now created waypoint number four and we have selected the waypoint number four. The next goal is to go towards the waypoint and since we're in autopilot we can use the trim keys to move the little green arrow on the HSI to control where the plane wants to fly. If we move the little green arrow towards the big arrow which is basically telling us where the waypoint is going the plane will automatically turn itself towards the waypoint. We're gonna punch in some gas now and off we go. The next step we need to do is we need to prepare for the bomb drop. For that we first need to contact our JTAG and to do so we need to set the correct frequency. I set him up to be 400 megahertz, 140 megahertz. We select the main radio and we bring up the connection menu. JTAG and the door. Five nine three fourteen thousand. Bar with GBU twelve one hundred fifty gun. Time on stage. 
information is zero plus 30. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? Copy remarks. Okay, so we have the JTAG prepped on and uh, it is ready to laze on our command. Few little interesting details. This little house icon here on the HUD indicates where the, what's the direction towards your waypoint, and this indicates the direction of your waypoint. The, not the direction, sorry, uh, the distance towards your waypoint. The little plus sign will appear on the ground once you're below 10 nautical miles. And once we're that, we can mark our spot and drop the bombs. So in order to prepare the bombs, we need to use the master arm, select the bombs, and don't forget to arm them by putting them into RET mode. After we've done that, we're going to disable the autopilot gonna go down towards our way where our waypoint was and it's gonna appear soon and there you go that's our input at the waypoint so we're gonna mark that position with a radar lock key we're gonna level out and wait for a vertical line to match with our diamond shape and that will and then press the trigger to drop the bombs there we go bombs away I did a little fuck up there. Forgot to put the laser on, but managed it, managed to salvage it. So we can do another pass. And there you go, that's a demonstration of how to use an INS system to create a waypoint to your target. And since I'm low on fuel, I'm going to demonstrate a synthetic runway landing. To do so, we first need to get the runway waypoint, which I already did in the mission editor. And that's a runway number 
waypoint number 03. With that in mind, we, all we have to do is engage our ILS system. You can go into F10 map view, go to the airport you want to land at, and you can read the ILS. It's 110.30. So we can put, where is it? 110.30. Turn it on. We have to deselect any weapons we have and be in a nav mode and press approach mode. There we go. There is our airfield, so all we have to do is follow the lines and make landings.